use, of course. So uh, I remember uh, an entry in, in the Wikipedia where a lot of Stoddart, who was actually a very central person for this seminar we had, where he said uh, he actually anticipated that uh, the Jewish problem in Germany would be solved by the physical elimination of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Do you think also Mr. Stoddart, then, yeah, I didn't know that either, but mm -hmm. do you think actually he would mean that, that the Jews were supposed to be killed uh, down to the last person? And he would he would sort of agree with that, or do you think it could be uh, uh, you know sort of tough language? Uh, I didn't even know about this. Started uh, having this uh, opinion at an early date, I suppose, no, in the twenties or thirties. Good, but it's, it's perfectly logical. I mean, anti-Semitism in Germany in the thirties was so widespread; everybody was an anti-Semite, without any exceptions uh, at all. And Hitler himself, of course, was. And for Hitler. Uh, the, the, the Jews were a belt find, uh, enemy of, of the entire world, parasites, and you can uh, fill books with all these nasty things he says about them. This view was shared by all. So it, was, it would have been very, very astonishing and totally incomprehensible if Hitler had not done uh, what he could to exterminate the Jews physically when he had the chance to do so, mainly uh, uh, in connection with the war against Russia uh, from the summer. Uh, 1941. Exactly, but I mean, some some historians and some mm -hmm. uh, revisionists also say, okay, so there was this intention, maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's proven, mm -hmm. or it could have been the intention to mm -hmm. to 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 place them, to deport them all to 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 the Soviet area once yeah. that was uh, um, uh, that that war was over. But it didn't go exactly as he had planned. Right. Uh, but also, other uh, critics of this of the Holocaust issue and the final solution, like. Uh, Douglas Reed, whom I've taken a, a special interest in, mm -hmm. they, they criticize it from the point of view of um, statistics. Mm -hmm. Like they look at the statistics oh, yeah. saying, well, there weren't that, that, many, yeah. that many Jews in the, in the area that the, that the Germans could kill, even if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And also, the, uh, uh, there was the suffering, the whole suffering of uh, people during the Second World War, like the yeah. 60 million that we never hear of, we just hear the 6 million. Yes. Um, and the six million are not supported by these statistics, is what Dr. Reed says, uh, for instance. Also, he says that this whole uh, suffering was sort of hijacked by the Jews, and uh, it became a, a, a total uh, propaganda subject. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Yeah, yeah, that? That's really another issue, because I'm interested in what actually happened, and then accumulate little by little what we know actually happened. And our best sources, before I come to comment on that, about the figure six million, our best sources are the reports made by the German police themselves. The German police, sent, uh, who were active on the Eastern Front of murdering Jews, send reports daily or weekly to Berlin. Now, there are 2,900 pages of reports, and if you add these up, you get very huge numbers of Jews being shot. The precise indication of date and locality in, White Ru in uh, Belorussia, in Ukraine, Lithuania, and so on and so forth. Huh? So, here, and here you see why the denier case is a lost case. Because the main professor, Butts, he says in his work from 1976 that these reports of the uh, German police called Einsatzgruppen were manufactured by Russia. And that is a L-I-E. There was a special office in Berlin with some 50 people working in that office. And they survived. And they were later on interrogated by German courts in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. so, the denier really has to deny that that there is a place called Berlin. It's, it, the denier is like one denying that there's a place called Berlin or Hamburg. That is actually the situation. All right, well, let, let me ask you something else yes, too. Yes. Um, I remember some time back yeah. uh, there was a, the leader of the Danish Jews at that time, Mr. Jacques Blum, uh -huh. wrote a book, uh, where also you uh, yeah. had the yeah. honor of being uh, portrayed. Yes. And I, I actually do. Um, and he, it was at the time when it was proven that uh, there were not that many Jews killed in Auschwitz as believed before, mm. the four million, mm. it, it came down to one million. Right. And then he just said, okay, so it is still six million. Now they were just shot in the, in the forests uh, mm. of Russia. Mm -hmm. And so there's no change. Mm -hmm. It seems to me a little bit like uh, what, what you're saying could be uh, interpreted that way that you demand. Uh, very much less uh, evidence, proof today. Like you're saying, it's not even mm. it's not even fair to ask for that kind of evidence. You mm. didn't mm. used to to, to yeah. say that. Yes. And also, I would ask you, 
if you think about the uh, the Eastern Front, which was yes. as insh as inhuman as you probably could get uh, uh, in a war, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's surely true that it became worse and worse, and that many Jews were shot, maybe even as Jews, but mm -hmm. also as uh, as partisans, mm -hmm. they were shot mm -hmm. many many probably yeah. hundreds of thousands, but it doesn't add up maybe to to millions mm -hmm. uh, is what one could say. Mm -hmm. Many were shot and even maybe down to women and children too, because they didn't uh, uh, sort of, um, they, they were not human as we would like them to be today, but the whole, the whole, the whole fight on the Eastern Front was so inhuman. Could that be an excuse or a, is a sort of a, an understandable revenge from the uh, Jewish Bolshevism that Hitler was all about uh, annihilating? Now you're asking for the reasons of uh, Hitler's anti-Semitism. That, that too, and, and also if, 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 if you think that the, uh, the shootings uh, at the Eastern Front yes. could be explained or at least mitigated in the way that it was uh, getting worse and worse and was a part of this inhuman picture at the Eastern Front. Uh, no, it was uh, from the very start. Already in Poland in uh, September 1939, the order was to exterminate Jews along with the, the, the priesthood and uh, the nobility that already in September 39. So in a way, it's, it's wise to start with the five Einsatzgruppen that were active in Poland. And then there were these many complaints that I explained from Wehrmacht officers about the, uh, that it's not German uh, policy, they thought, uh, to exterminate uh, civilians and to rob uh, civilians as the German Wehrmacht witnessed in numerous cases in Poland. And this led Hitler then in connection with uh, the war against Russia to make it very, very clear that from now on Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler would be acting on his own without any interference, only with regard to mar march orders and uh, provisions. Otherwise, German police under Heinrich Himmler, uh, under Heidegg and under Gadewege, the Ordnungspolizei, would be acting on their own. So it was very clear from the summer of 41. German police acts on its own, with some assistance here and there, even from the Wehrmacht, unfortunately. Uh, okay. It's very so this was from the very start. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that Hitler, already very, very early, perhaps even in the 20s or before, had said to himself, but that's just my impression, that when and if I get the chance to get rid of these Jews, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he said that to himself. Okay, so, so you, you're convinced uh, of that. Um, uh, as a lawyer, I like the principle innocent until proven guilty, uh, uh, yeah. and also like the burden of the proof rests on mm -hmm. the prosecution, which mm -hmm. is a good principle, I think, mm -hmm. especially in a, in a, such a great case as, as, as mass murder, of course. Yes. And so you're still questioning the, the, the figure, of course, uh, six million, which is which yes. is uh, like a um, an occult figure, really, That's not, right. not historical at, yes. at, at all. But you're saying now it mm -hmm. could be. It could be at least many hundreds of thousands, maybe maybe millions. Yes, yes. And also, you say that you you are inferring that there must have been an order by Hitler, but yes. you still can't prove the order. But you would say it, it 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 has been there. But there's still the problem of the statistics. Maybe like did they did they have the ability to 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 find that many Jews uh, since they had already by 1939, as far as I understand, they yes. they, had, they had they had moved they had moved to the eastern parts of the Russian Jews and. And the, the Polish Jews, all that had money by that time, uh, would have would have uh, would have fled these countries. Mm -hmm. That's one point. Mm -hmm. But also, um, at least the uh, the data from from Dr. Sweet, the author Dr. Sweet that I have uh, read, um, could not be accused of being uh, Nazi in any way, uh, because he was among the top hundred that would have, would have been removed from England if they had yeah. ever conquered England. The, the, yes. the Nazis. So. He says they, the Jews actually suffered in proportion to their numbers of the populations all over the place, mm -hmm. no more, mm -hmm. no less, mm -hmm. but they, had, they hijacked little by little this mm -hmm. whole subject, yes. which is the case today. Yes. I, I don't know if you agree with that in, in any way, but uh, it will be up to probably the, uh, the future researchers to, to, to bring mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the actual proof of the numbers, mm -hmm. plus the, the actual orders or the actual... Uh, Nature of crime. Yes, uh, I would just say, uh, Dr. Schwedt would not be a, any source of mine, by no means. He probably didn't know uh, Kuhnhof, he probably didn't know uh, the three of Reinhardt camps, he probably didn't know about the Ordnungspolizei. Mm. Uh, so, so he's simply not a source. He's not a source for you. No, he's not All right, let's get off that subject then. Right. No, enough said about that. Then to uh, another topic, which has also been controversial. Mm. Even though you're an expert in this field, you're a mm. Buddhist expert. Mm. But, uh, um, 
you ran into trouble with the Danish academia in the field uh, in 1998 and 1999 mm -hmm. when you edited two major works uh, for a publisher. We have one of them here. I think you, you had it there for a Buddhist um, scholarly yeah, book. This one. Yeah. This one. That's right. Uh, and there was there were two of them actually. It's, uh, yes, there were two of them. There ought to have been four. <laughs> well, yes, because yes, the, the publisher had asked me to edit four volumes, and then there were protests after two volumes came out. Exactly. Uh, not f they were translated from uh, from uh, Sanskrit language and from Tibetan and from Chinese, right? Yeah. Never been translated into Danish before. And there was a comp there were letters of protest from was it twenty three professors, historians of religion, and theologians, right? Not one of whom could translate knew the language in question or only had an elementary language uh, command. But what offended them was that I had written that uh, here we have, uh, how amusing, here we have one of the sources for the New Testament. And theologians don't like to hear that. Historians of religion don't like to hear that. Obviously, it's clear to me now, why do the theologians not like to hear that? Well, they're out of job. It's as simple as that. Mm. Very often it's, it's that. It's, it's, and it's, it's fear sometimes. Like, today you can't say anything about hardly anything, but we'll get back to that. Um, you were accused of something uh, you call Aryan humanism, and what ah. they said is that these colleagues, actually one was a student, one of the main critics was an, an earlier student of yours, as far as I could mm -hmm. uh, find out, and also what the, there was a prominent Jew, Mr. Rothstein, mm -hmm. who's a, 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 reli a reli history religion, what do you yes. call that, historian of religion, yeah, 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 yeah. and he was very active, like he's yes. been active in many other uh, such uh, Attacks. Yes. And um, but you were actually uh, um, accused of having nationalist socialist sympathies, or at least you skewed your research in that direction. Is what they said, mm -hmm. and that was not was not called for. It was not correct. Is that uh, how it was? Yeah. Again, totally ignorance. They're fighting against monsters in their own mind, and that again has to do with these many peoples in the universities after 1968, which really opened the door for unqualified people. These people cannot read the sources in the original. What they're talking about are uh, monsters in their own minds. With regard to the term Aryan, it offended many people. But what the term Aryan is in the Buddhist source, which itself says Aryan. So I leave the term untranslated. Usually people translate the Sanskrit word Aryan as uh, noble and so on, but it really doesn't fit in all contexts and therefore you leave the Sanskrit original. So you say so that... It's so ridiculous. Yeah, they're actually uh, being politi politically correct, like in so many other fields, and putting more into the word Aryan uh, and, and something which they skew in the direction of, of national socialism. As so often in the case of journalists, women, and so on, they read their own ideas into the text. Mm. All right. So it's the same, actually, as, it's the same as many of these witnesses of... Uh, of the Holocaust thing. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, recently there, were, there was a, a witness who's, who said he witnessed mass graves and the blood would uh, go up into the air and serve as fuel. He thought, but blood doesn't burn. Hmm. And this was an, an academic who thought this was a correct and uh, a horrible story. Well, it, it wasn't a true story because blood doesn't burn. Blood isn't gasoline. Hmm. So at this level you will indeed find, especially theologians, I would say, who, if we want to take that issue up here. Yeah, I would just like to uh, end off this other subject. But yeah. you were actually taken off this very nice uh, piece of work where you really belonged, like an expert on Buddhism. Mm -hmm. You lost your income, you lost your mm -hmm. job, and you, you were further uh, taken away from the mainstream mm -hmm. uh, line which could give you uh, uh, prestige and income. Mm -hmm. That was how that properly ended. and. Mm -hmm. uh, um, that is this political correctness which um, we have to see in so many other areas. But let's go to another area yeah, then, yes, since yes. time is limited. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually uh, connected with this, this, this former one. Mm -hmm. 